There's lots of noise around football in India right now. And for these players, part of the Atletico di Kolkata club, lots of pressure too. Part owned by Spanish giants Atletico Madrid, they are one of the favourites to win the new Indian Super League. A tournament modelled on cricket's successful IPL, featuring eight city-based franchises competing against each other. Now, Calcutta is the football capital of India, but beyond this region, the sport has not been able to expand its popularity. Now, this is primarily due to cricket, which is the nation's favourite sport. But the organisers are hoping that stadiums like this one will be able to attract sell-out crowds for all the matches over the next two months. But the big question still remains whether this new tournament can help spread the popularity of the game to other parts of the country as well. The clubs are confident that will happen. And to help its appeal, they've signed some big names from the years gone by, like Frenchman Robert Perez, Italian Alejandro Del Piero, and Spain's Luis Garcia to play alongside local Indian players. And Garcia, who starred for clubs like Liverpool and Barcelona, hopes that the tournament will change perceptions of the game here. I think that the people here in India they are hungry of football. Uh, they are looking forward to, to see Indian players around the world. And I think that maybe this is, it could be the, the beginning of something bigger. I think we are trying to, to make the first seed to, to see if uh, football can, can grow here in, in India. I think there are many, many people looking forward to this and hopefully we can help to that, uh, to, to see more, more, more players going out of India, making a stronger team. And of course, at the end, uh, when people uh, go out of, of India, they are going to get different experience and probably that is going to help to the Indian, Indian team, the national team. While a lot of people in India play football, that hasn't translated into high TV viewership of the domestic game where existing national football leagues have suffered from poor infrastructure and a lack of cash. And while the popularity of the English and Spanish leagues has soared recently, that's mainly in big Indian cities only, a vacuum the ICL organisers think they can fill. More than 600 million follow cricket in this country and all of them, given a chance, end up following football as well. So when there is a World Cup, whether it is this time or last time, more than 200 million people came and participated and watched that football at some point of time. Now, there are keen people who want to keenly follow, but don't know whom to follow today. I think some of these European leagues are too distant, too far. You don't know any key player for you to follow regularly. I think this, this league gives an opportunity to all those to start following a league of their own. But even with high-profile club owners, including cricketers such as Tendulkar, MS Dhoni and a host of Bollywood celebrities raising the league's profile, turning it into a sustainable business model is surely the toughest challenge. At some point in time, this glitz and the glamour is going to go away. What's going to remain is, and they, and they also need to be patient, even if the business model uh, has been given to them, it's, it's a business model that they buy into. Whatever be it, it will need a lot of time. It will need a lot of time because you're starting from nothing. So to build something, you'll need a lot of time. And that lot of time should not be equated with a traditional general business venture, which, which possibly starts yielding returns in five years, seven years. It could take longer than that. For these players, getting the season kicked off and trying to win matches is what's important. But I sat down with Atletico di Kolkata co-owner Saurav Ganguly, another celebrated former cricketer, and asked if he thought if the league and his club were viable businesses. Honestly, honestly, we did not enter into this uh, seeing it as a business venture because we don't know what it is, how it is going to be. It may be very good, it may, not, it may be nothing. We've not even thought about the numbers. We're just trying to make a good thing happen and we'll see. Now, many critics say that for the first two or three editions, there will be a lot of interest, but then when the owners don't see money coming in, they may start pulling out of the tournament. Is that going to be a big worry? Let's see. Let's see what happens. IPL also doesn't make profits to a lot of owners, but uh, they still continue, still continue doing it, still continue playing it for the passion of the sport, uh, for the for the excitement it creates around the country. It has become such a popular league all around the world. And uh, let's not predict anything because nobody knows what's going to happen two years down the line. Nobody knows how the game's going to open up, how the market's going to open up, what happens. Uh, you know, at, at least you have to start. If you don't start, you won't get to three years down the line. 
So it's a start for us. We're starting and hopefully we'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if you look at India, cricket is the most popular sport in this country. It dominates the landscape. So in that sense, do you think it will be a challenge to draw eyeballs for this tournament? Yeah, of course it would. Uh, I think every sport has its own place. And I don't think we are here to compare it with cricket or any other sport. We are here to see good football, treat football as a different sport. It may be lesser than cricket, it may be bigger than cricket, it doesn't matter. What matters is how the game is played, what matters is whether this sport can survive along with the other sport and I'm sure it will. If you look at football viewership, that's actually increased in India over the last few years. More people are watching the English Premier League, the Spanish League. So in that sense, do you think it will be a challenge to get audience for the Indian Super League? Because there will be a huge mismatch in the football quality. Yeah, of course, of course. You won't get a Messi or a Ronaldo or a, or a Neymar uh, to play here. Uh, so, uh, as I said, uh, it's, it's a beginning. It's a beginning of something. Let's see what the market ho holds up in the next couple of years. Uh, India is a big market for everyone. You know, you talk about any other sport, India, China, America, they are big markets. You know, cricket has been big in this country. You know, you go to America, there's baseball, which is big, but the other sports are slowly making inroads. The response so far has been good. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's been very, very good, to be honest, in terms of sponsors, in terms of people's excitement, in terms of the support we get from various people around, the governments, uh, and hopefully we can, we can survive the, the excitement.